Ride News Now. I'm Allison Hayslip. Here's the latest in all things mobility. We see what you're doing here, Nissan, and we like it. Just in time for summer, the Japanese automaker has created an electric ice cream truck based on its NV200 cargo van. With a range of 124 miles and adorable folding awnings, this truck is even cooler than the ice cream it serves. Speaking of, all the onboard refrigeration hardware runs entirely on recycled EV batteries taken and repurposed from older Nissan electric cars. Nissan calls this a guilt-free, sky-to-scoop way to enjoy ice cream. In this case, they're talking about zero emissions from the vehicle, not zero calories from the ice cream. Sadly, you'll still have to rely on, say, an electric treadmill or elliptical machine to burn those off. What's more frightening to see careening down the road? An unchecked 98-year-old in a station wagon or a prototype robo-taxi? Well, Floridians are about to find out. That's because as of July 1st, companies are free to test autonomous cars on Florida's public roadways without a human backup driver on board. The bill, signed into law by Governor Ron DeSantis in late June, allows human occupants inside self-driving test vehicles to freely text, watch a movie, or just generally chillax while the vehicle does the driving. The only stipulation the bill spells out is that the car must carry insurance. Otherwise, it's pretty much fair game. With this bill now signed into law, I assume it's only a matter of time before we start seeing Florida man headlines involving self-driving cars. Did you call me toots? I sure did, Florida man. Florida man shoots autonomous car for driving too cautiously. Yep. Florida man sets up mobile meth lab inside self-driving car. Oh, most definitely. Florida man breaks into autonomous car, sells tickets for rides. Ooh, I like that one. You get the idea. Thanks, Florida man. Mm -hmm. Bentley is known for building some pretty fancy schmancy road cars, so this bit of news came as a pleasant surprise. The British car maker tapped local elementary school kids to design, engineer, and ultimately race their own electric cars. How cool is that? And why wasn't I born later? The opportunity allows tykes to explore their creative and scientific sides while building scaled down battery powered race cars that just happen to look like micro-sized Bentleys. And if you think this program is aimed at snooty British kids with well-heeled parents, think again. We have a similar green power race series here in the States and their entry level goblin race car starter kit runs only $1,995. Sounds to us like some of these kiddos might wind up Formula One stars thanks to early exposure to go fast tech. Way to go, Bentley. For more tech news, join us over at ride.tech and be sure to follow Ride Tech News on your social platform of choice. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Also, head to ride.tech for stories, reviews, and more news.